Good morning guys and welcome to the channel. Today I have a quick question. Yes, I know my regular video schedule is every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 6.15 p.m. Eastern. New videos on the channel, but I also did tell you that every once in a while on other days, I'm gonna be popping up with new videos. Today being Saturday, I'm hoping you're watching this video around 11 a.m. Hopefully I can edit and upload it real quick. It's gonna be a real short one. I need your help, guys. This is my Rubicon right here. This is a 2017 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon Hard Rock. Now, this is my second Jeep. My first Jeep, I never removed the doors. On the second Jeep, this Jeep, I removed the doors once. I removed all four doors, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I removed the doors, and it's completely a totally different experience, but it's easy to take the doors off. And if I had a place to hang them on the wall, then it would be really simple. I, I've been missing out. It's so stupid. I know I've been, really been missing out on the whole Jeep experience because when I did take the doors off, I had a blast. It was awesome to drive and I need to start doing a lot more, but we'll get into that later. Anyway, the point of today's video is I need to know what your solution is for hanging Jeep doors on the wall. Now I went ahead and I've done my research, I've gone on the forums, and I have one solution in mind that I really like. But some people saying are saying that my weather stripping on the doors is gonna get damaged. If I roll the window down and I have two hooks on the wall and I pretty much hang the door, all that weight sitting on the actual weather stripping. Now guys, I already did my research online and this is what I'm finding. People are telling me that if I put like two hooks on the wall and I hang my doors, if I roll the window down, right, and I hang my doors from those two hooks and I put foam pads, they're saying that over time the weather stripping is gonna get damaged. The problem that I have is a lot of people that are saying those comments are people that are, have not done it. They're people that are just reading it online and some of them even admit that it's more of a myth and some other people say it's okay, some people say it's not okay. Typically, I'm the one making the videos, giving you guys tips and advice on what to do with your Jeep and that kind of thing. Today, I'm actually reaching out, asking you guys for help. What I wanna know is, if you actually take your Jeep doors off and you hang them on the wall, have you ever done it like that with the hooks? I mean, I see some really cheap, simple solutions. In fact, let me just pull up my phone. I'll show you what I'm thinking about doing. All right, okay, so one person was showing like this hook. This is like from Home Depot. As you can see, this is $6.54. Now, this is what I'm talking about. This is the solution that I really like. It has some foam pads on there. You can maybe even add more foam on there if you want to also. The thing that's preventing me from doing it is the comments that I'm seeing on social media where people are saying that it's gonna ruin the weather stripping on my Jeep over time if I do it. I did see maybe like one or two people say that they've been doing it and it's been okay. Others saying it's not gonna be okay. Please let me know in the comment section below. Don't tell me to not do it if you haven't tried this already yourself. I'm really just looking for people who have actually tried doing this and that are actually been hanging their doors on the wall of their garage or whatever in their home. And I wanna know if over time you have had issues with the weather stripping, do you see marks on the weather stripping? Because guys, this year my goal is every weekend, or I, I actually let me correct myself, not just every weekend, but whenever I take my Jeep out for a drive, I want to have the doors off as often as possible. Not just the doors, but the roof, the whole, the whole thing. I want the whole Jeep topless with no doors as much as possible. I'm coming up with solutions. I already have a pretty cool solution for the, for the roof. I'll show you that in another video. But as far as the doors are concerned, I did see that solution. Now there are more expensive solutions. And guys, it's not even about spending the money. I don't care about spending the money. As long as it's a good solution, I really don't care. But there are some other solutions that are a little more expensive that work this way. So naturally, the doors on the Jeep hang right here from these hinges. And I have seen some solutions where they have a similar thing where you can hang the doors using the hinges. Guys, my only problem with that is, yes, it's a, that's a great solution because you're hanging the door from where it's actually meant to be hung. Lining up the hinges without scratching the paint, you know, it's just gonna take an extra few more minutes. Yes, maybe it sounds like you're being lazy, but at the end of the day, look, I'm just being honest with myself. If it's easy for me to take the door off, and just hang it from like the actual frame when I have the window down, I'm gonna do it way more often than if I have to be constantly trying to line up the little two pins every single time, I'm gonna take the doors off. So like I said, let me know in the comments below if you have actually tried and stolen hangers like that with the foam, and how long have you been hanging your doors, and let me know if you've had any issues and if it's okay. If you guys tell me it's okay, I'm probably gonna head out to Home Depot this weekend, install some hooks on the walls, and start taking these doors. Next thing I gotta do is, I need to order some really cool trail doors for the Jeep. If you have any recommendations, 
for the trail doors for my Rubicon, let me know. I still have a whole bunch of other stuff that I got to order for this Rubicon. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next video.